Yeah, there should be some jingle bells in the background here. Audit and post. <laughs> oh, big editor man guy. Oh, I work in TV. Ooh. Welcome in, everybody. It's the Craft Beer Republic. I am Greg. I'm currently being berated by my co-host, Flex. <laughs> Santa Flex. Santa Flex. Merry Christmas. It's quite the big beard you have. It's not. Yeah. He's lying. I don't no, have a big it's beard. not really. Well, way to ruin the illusion. Big muscles, no beard. Yeah, big other things, too. But not shorts. Little shorts. <laughs> little shorts always. Yeah. Big muscle, little short. <laughs> uh, about me. Now, now that we've really creeped everybody out, also joining us is Coley. Santa's favorite hoe. <laughs> Whoa. You said it, okay. not me. Okay. That's what yes. my ugly sweater said this year. It's my oh, new one. Right. Santa's yeah. favorite hoe. Santa, that's a okay. good one. I couldn't pass it up. Yeah. Amazon just caught my eye. It's... You need to design a line of like Hanukkah ugly sweaters. There's one with an African gray parrot on it holding a menorah in its claw. And it's if that doesn't scream me, I don't know what does. If you it's all like are all your things. Yeah, in one. everything I've been posting lately is bird spam. Yeah. Okay, so are are you Jewish? Is Nick Jewish? I'm you Jewish. Collectively Jewish? No, he, I thought he was when I first met him. I'm like, how does this guy spell his last name? I was like, oh my God, he's hot and he's Jewish. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> Is that a Jewish name, his last name? Well, like Wyman. I thought yeah. maybe it was like W-E-I or something oh, or whatever, yeah, like Wyman. Yeah, yeah. But he, he's a, it's actually German. Turns, <laughs> out, turns out he spells it phonetically. <laughs> it turns out. Yeah. But yeah, um, oh. and my mom's Jewish. So right. in the Jewish religion, if you're only half, it, it your mom's side is what determines it. Yeah. So. And I'm Jewish. Ish. Yeah, there's a long bloodline. But, uh, yeah, uh, I love that for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> People outside of I, this is so I'm, not related to the show, I'm but Junan, I was on like, Junan, yeah. Junan. <laughs> I was on a plane once leaving Spain, and uh, Orthodox Jew like sat right, you know, guy with the mm-hmm. curly everything and had the yarmulke on yeah. and everything. And uh, he goes, looks at me all funny. Are you Jewish? I'm like, no. He's like, well, you really look it. I was like, thanks. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> and then you did your DNA, and you're like, holy shit, I am Jewish. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyways, oh, where were we? Hey, follow us on the socials. <laughs> <laughs> Crap Beer Republic, Flex Me Beer underscores in between. Of course, Ice Coal, C O L E, beer underscores after each one. Uh, all right, this is our, our holiday episode. It's time to get all Christmassy and Hanukkah and uh, festive. Kwanzaa. And- Kwanzaa. Yeah. What else do people celebrate? Oh, uh, Krampus. Krampus. <laughs> Boxing That's, Day. Oh, Boxing yeah. Day. I'm an honorary oh, yeah. Canadian because oh, I have worked really? with a Canadian law firm That's for like something 11 to brag years. About. <laughs> Come on. They take it off. They don't work. Why would I go into work? I take the day off. Or they get Boxing Day off? It's yeah. na- it's a national it's, oh, holiday in Canada. I which is, I mean, it, you know, it's similar to like Christmas, but it was when like the um, the wealthier folks would box up items and give them to the less fortunate. They, Hence, they'd re gift the shit they didn't want. Yeah, so it's yeah. not like it's not like boxing, like fighting. No, I'm day. fully aware of that. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like gifting but I, day. I didn't realize it was like a, a full on day off holiday kind of thing. Yeah, Canada, y- parts of Europe, mm. and Australia. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, they just wanted to add a holiday. I take it off, off every year. Like my boss you knows. You do, and, and it's great. Every... You take it off, or your office closes. No, I take it off because our office. Take we're it off. U- we're U.S. Woo! Right. Santa's favorite hoe, taking it off. <laughs> Um, our office is, I mean, I'm the only segment that deals with our international portfolios, which uh, is Canada. Everyone else is U.S. based. So it, that's they don't so take weird it off. too that Canada's international. Yeah. I mean, they're, I mean, I call them our, you know, North American, uh, cousin right there, but you know, they're our U.S. number two. I'm sure they love that. I'm sure. Yeah. They must really appreciate that. But, you know, it's, <laughs> Hey, Canadians. I take, I mean, and the law firm that I work with, they're also, um, they're Orthodox Jews as well. Mm. So they take off like there were holidays I had to come home. I'm like, Mom, what is Sukkot? And she's like, Oh, it's oh, blah blah blah. And I'm like, I don't need yeah. Dude, you guys have the best. Well, holidays. I'm off of work. <laughs> like one every like September through November, you get like one a week or something. Oh yeah. It seems mm-hmm. like. You've got the new year, you've got yeah. the holiest day of the year, you've got yeah, Purim is one of them too. I, I don't even know. Yeah. Smart. Very smart. You're yeah. like, Oh, we gotta go to work? Yeah, by the way, we got a lot of holidays coming up. Yeah, they really do. So on days like that, you know, if I can get a day in here and there and make my holiday season a little bit more joyous with the day off. I, I definitely do yeah. that. I know I had one 
like Jewish friend when I was real small growing up. Mm -hmm. And then like from start of school through like, (laughs) you know, this time of year, it's like, man, he misses a lot of school. Yeah. (laughs) Like I said, the the more orthodox ones really follow that. My mom sent me to school for all the holidays. His parents were pretty strict about all that so yeah. he, he got a lot of days off that's crazy i, I was jealous when you, when then you he, say you're being little i imagine you're like three feet with still like a 16 size shoe oh, my oh God. yeah absolutely <laughs> like full-on weevil wobble it's like a, an egg with feet he didn't fall down yeah. though no pff, never no one could put so down. much stability <laughs> yeah no one's more stable than this guy <laughs> mentally it's all about the definitely base. not mentally yeah <laughs> No treble. Uh, shout out to Austin, Texas, for being our top listening city of last week. Hey, I, I know yeah. people in Austin. Do you? I don't. I don't think they've charted before. So, uh, what up, Austin? Austin's cool. Uh, I might have been. just lied. I don't know. Maybe I oh, know okay. one person in Austin. You fucking liar. I don't know anybody in Austin. I don't. I've never been, but we had a work been. conference there, and I was trying to go. <laughs> I always try to weasel my way in on those. Yeah. And I didn't get to go, but I heard it was awesome. And I got cool shot glass from everyone. Right. Yeah. I feel like great, it's the one place in Texas. music city, I hear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like it's the one place in Texas I might actually want to go to. It, Yeah. Yeah. Like the rest of it can, you know. Suck we we want to do the river walk in San Antonio. I So okay. I actually went to San Antonio for a work conference and the river walk was, it was fine. It was, you know what's underwhelming? The Alamo. It's like this big. Oh yeah. It's tiny, right? Like I think Nick's pee pee. What that PB do is bigger than the Alamo. <laughs> well, you don't get the name Big Dick Nick for nothing. Yeah, well, he makes the Alamo look very, very small. <laughs> Little Dick Alamo. Little Dick Alamo. Yeah. It was just really underwhelming. Uh, I'm assuming you guys took a bunch of pictures now with his D out in front of the Alamo. <laughs> he, you know, he wasn't Too there. Show. He, he wasn't. Yeah. I went with work. I really wish I could have. But it's I was so great. I was just like, that's the uh, Alamo. Just oh. for scale, here's my dick <laughs> and here's the Alamo. It should be in Deb's calendar. <laughs> what was it like dicks across the world yeah. or dicks on vacation or something? something? Like, it's yeah. just like dick shaped monuments and oh, stuff. It should yeah. just be like. Nick's dick comparing size to like buildings in the background. So, <laughs> you know, like when they have people like holding up the leaning tower of penis. Leaning, like, oh. right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> leaning tower of penis. Yeah. It's like eh. Nick's like, I'll stabilize this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my third leg on it. Yeah. Oh, oh he's my god! Tripod the situation. Nick's dick out from like just phallic shaped monuments. Oh god, that would be great. You think he like, uh, Washington monument? Maybe. The Eiffel Tower, yeah, the yeah. Leaning Tower. Oh, that would be brilliant. Yeah, let's talk to him about this. We should. Yeah, let's give him a real drunk one night. Guarantee he would be into it. You think? I, mean, I don't know. Nick's not a big attention whore. He, I mean, in some ways he is. He's just, but he, like, he's he projects not, loudly and yeah. stuff, but he's, when Nick comes down to like, I don't know, like even like recording and stuff, he gets like a little anxiety, I think. He gets a little bashful. He just starts shy. rubbing microphones on his on face. His beard. Yeah. On his, or his scruff, I mean. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, hi, Austin. <laughs> Keeping it weird, that. I think is their slogan. <laughs> yeah, keep I it weird. we were talking about Austin. Yeah. Well, you get distracted by Nick's dick. It's easy. In the river walk. Let me tell you. <laughs> the yeah. Alamo. Yeah. Well, they Remember got just, the they, Alamo. They got Jester King and yeah. Pine House Pizza, so good, good for Austin. That's why they need you to remember it so hard, because it wasn't much to remember. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Uh, all right. Before we get into anything, let's uh, get into some beverages over here. Mm. Ooh. Uh, we are over here drinking the Polar Espresso. Whoa. <laughs> Coffee stout from Brewery X down in Anaheim, California. Six and a half percent. They say a coffee stout with Alverix coffee and Ghana cacao nibs. Cacao! Cacao! I always think of uh, Lightning McQueen with cacao. I, cacao. Don't, I don't remember that. Part. Oh, he's cacao. Yeah. Oh, cacao. Yeah. Sorry. Never seen uh, it. You never seen cars? Never. And you have kids. Oh, come on. So good. Uh, anyways, 3.6 on Untapped. Coffee schnoz. Coffee schnoz. Coffee schnoz. Light, oh. but there. Okay, so it has yeah. warmed up a bit from when I first tried it. Yeah, we poured this like. I do get more ago. like cacao. Like I get more yeah. dark chocolate on the initial sip. It's just like roasty and 
bitter on the back end, though. It finishes a little too bitter. You don't get really a coffee flavor. Yeah, instead of like, oh, this is coffee flavor, you kind of get the bitterness of the coffee. I was ex- Because it's called the Polar Espresso, I was thinking it would be more coffee forward. Absolutely, and I just get more chocolate now. Like It just tastes like a very bitter dark chocolate. You know, like the dark chocolate that you guys had that time that had like, like no sweetener in right, it? And so you're like 95% dark? Yeah. yeah, and it just like makes the skin on the roof of your mouth like ah. turn into a dust ball yeah yeah it's kind of like, like that I, yeah i will say i like it better as it warmed Me up too. before i just all i got was the bitterness yeah now like i said i actually get notes of chocolate yeah. so i'm i am appreciative so definitely don't drink this beer cold if yeah, you're local it and you get it yeah. yeah it's been out for about 20 minutes for us so mm-hmm. uh, much better now yeah much better uh not bad but uh yeah I, a little more coffee flavor would have would have been right up my alley yeah I find Brewery X has put out some really good beers lately. They've really improved, but um, sometimes they still have a little work to do. Yeah. To put it nicely. So, Or at least to match the name or what you think they're going for. Like if you're calling True. this a coffee stout, it's just like you said, it's like bittering units and a little bit of roast. Right. It's very. <laughs> does it have IBUs on here? No, it does not. That's of too bad. Of course not. That'd be fun to know. And I wonder if you can measure IBUs from coffee as opposed to from hops. I don't, I don't know. Because yeah. yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. Science. Science. But that turtle beer from Brewery X was good. The one, Ninja Turtle one. Yeah. I got it at... You got it in your fridge. We had it on here a couple months ago. Steph was at Trader Joe's. She's like, look what I found. I was like, please pick me up a four pack because I couldn't remember and then I did go onto Instagram and I saw that you had the same one. I'm like, well, I'll, I'll at least have it in case he needs another one. So. <laughs> Very nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good one. Uh, all right, lots to get to. This is sort of our holiday, Christmassy, whatever it's a, episode. It's, it's definitely, it's not kind of. It definitely is. Yeah, this release is like few days before christmas yeah. here's the deal we've been well, doing this every weird year thing to say you right <laughs> it's kind of no it's, no, kind no, of, it's, it's definitely all right redo um <laughs> this is something that i do every year ever since i've started any sort of podcast oh we're not gonna save show. this for the end you want me to save it for the show or for the end of the show i, I feel like the we end. usually do it at the end okay either way yeah. i just it's figured too good i feel like it's too good all right man that's a that's a tease right there we'll give a little tease here all right, right? all right I'll save it for the end. I'm going right. to drag it down my list here. Play with it a little bit. Ooh, oh, take it out. Then we'll I mean, take I, we do have out. our holiday shirts on. Yeah. I have my serious Clark yeah. shirt with my tough skin. Flex has got his gingerbread Marvel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all I got Marvel. my new sweater. Ask your mom if I'm real. Hell yeah. Santa winking. Yeah. Love great. it. So, all right. We'll, we'll move that down. That's It's like my favorite thing of the year to do. So, uh, all right. Christmas stuff, though. I you can't guys, believe you were going to do that mid-episode. Well, you, you know why? It's because it we're going to talk about Christmassy things. Okay. So I figure like, you know, it brought in to the Christmas mode. But I, I like your, your no, we style. Got, no, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's an end saver. Okay. It, it's the main event. It's great. It's, it's a Stone Cold now, Steve like... Austin versus Shawn Michaels with Mike Tyson as special guest referee. Or I enforcer. One of the enforcer. worst Shawn Michaels matches of all time. <laughs> No. He was in so much pain. <laughs> Anyways, and a lot of drugs. I didn't think this was a wrestling show. It's, it's I'm not just a sp- kidding. Ah! It's just borderline kidding. wrestling show, not yeah. a sports podcast. Right, okay. exactly. Fair. We, sh- we should start our own like 90s wrestling show. I'm fine with that. Let's do it. Uh, all right. You last weekend. Me. You and the Big Dick one hosted Friends Miss. We did. It yeah, was, was really fun. it was a good turnout this year. Uh, a couple of our besties were sick. Um Wiley yeah. and Sarah. Must have been making out or something. Maybe. You never you never <laughs> sick know. At the same sick time. at the same that time. That would both be them. pretty cool. Well, <laughs> only the non cool part was I had to make the ham because Sarah always brings a ham. And we didn't get her uh Guinness bread. Oh she always makes Guinness she bread. makes like a Guinness bread or like an eight oh five. Yeah. It's beer the only bread. acceptable use for Guinness. Yeah, I was gonna say Seriously, it's, it's beer. so good. And she does the honey whipped cinnamon butter. Oh, yeah. oh my good god. Shit. It's like Texas healthy. Roadhouse. Uh, I've, I've never eaten know. there. Oh we don't have god. those out here. Come on. Come on. We don't, we don't have those out here. Cut that out of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna turn like it up louder. Fucking Saint Nick. <laughs> it is. It's Do you have them in Wisconsin? It's the Texas Roadhouse, not the Wisconsin Roadhouse. Yeah, it's like a fucking chain restaurant, yeah. the Texas well, Roadhouse. They got the you know, cinnamon butter for the bread. They're not, they're not out here. Yeah, get we don't, we don't here. like those types. We don't like your kind. People yeah. will know. <laughs> I, I'm sure everyone but us will know. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, oh, I so was no just, Sarah, no Sarah. So Nick and I made the ham, and uh, 
The grocery store didn't have the usual kind that I get. Like this one was already like half cut. Mm. I don't even, I don't know what was happening. Was spiralized or whatever. Yeah. And that's all they had. Like, we always do bone in <laughs> and we do the butt cut. Oh yeah. Butt cut. And <laughs> like a good butt cut. Yeah. Still loving it spiralized. <laughs> it was like, it was like a spiralized ham. It was like half of it was cut. And I was like trying to put Just the cloves in. Ham. <laughs> Spiralized. Is this, I thought it was spiralized too, Greg. I, look, I'm the one that California bought it, thing. and I still thought it was that. Yeah, it's a thing. It's totally a thing. And then we did the 805 beer mac that Wiley usually brings, mm -hmm. and Nick was joking. He's like, "Babe, this is one of the best batches I think we've ever had." He's like, "We don't even need Wiley anymore." And I was like, "Oh, that's mean." Poor guy's like coughing up a lung. Kick him to the curb. Kick him to the curb. Well, I was glad you guys like triple batched it too. Yeah. Finally, there was enough. There was plenty. Yeah. We did two boxes of pasta. That's what the recipe calls for, Come oddly on, enough. I don't even up. know. Um, Chris and Tabby brought a 25 year old bottle of wine. Oh, yeah. It was a Zin. It was a Zin. That's, is that what it was? Yeah. I couldn't remember. Is it 1998 something something? I was Zin like 13 Vindel. years old Good when year. this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, apparently, it was. Um, he's been talking about it for a while. Like, he's promised Shannon the last couple of times we've seen him that he's going to bring it. So we decanted it. We aerated it. Yeah. Um, had the little filter to catch any sediment. And then we decanted it for about an hour. Yeah, at least. And it was still at a little... At least. Is that normal? Well, I mean, it's a 25-year-old yeah, bottle an old of wine. wine. Yeah. The nicer the wine, the more you should decant it. Ah. It was a little musky. And real uh, tanniny. Really got that dirt coat when you sipped on it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. Um, but was I it just at least like fun to drink? Was it fun? Can you? It was fun in the sense that it was twenty five years old and it had well, been saved. Well, that's what I mean. And, like, it's and I felt like a fancy old. bitch. It's fucking yeah, old, it's classy it's, as fuck. Yeah, it's so. fun. When have you ever drank something that old? I haven't. Right. Exactly. So that no, it was cool. It was very like novel, like a very novel, cool thing. Um, like I said, that was just a little musk. It just had like like a stink. Yeah, to it. Like, a, like an oldness to it. Yeah, like a stinky, musky kind of like <laughs> aftertaste. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, still very cool. Very appreciative of uh, my bestie and her husband bringing that. And we had like appetizer. Stephanie yeah. made this great cranberry and oh. jalapeno salsa to put oh, over yeah, like um, cream cheese. Holy crap. That hmm. was good. Deb brought Interesting. from Trader Joe's oh. the Danish Kringle, oh. which I said sounds absolutely like a sex maneuver. Like. Hey, babe, I'm going to give you the Danish Kringle tonight. Mm -hmm. um, never had that before. It was good. She goes, oh, it's from Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah apparently I it's was very popular. Say, I was going to ask if you even knew what a Kringle was. Cause... I mean, not before last night, but the bakery that Trader Joe's gets it from is in Wisconsin. And it's yeah. so good with the marzipan. Yeah. There's like <sighs> two or three, two, I, I know for sure, just huge companies that do Kringles out here. Yeah, I don't remember. I think she texted me which one it was, but... Um, and then Shannon and Greg bought a great green bean casserole with some, like, sliced almonds. They put some pomegranate seeds on top, like, reusing from, you know, the birthday. It, great. That's a great. Wonderful. I love how economical you guys are. Right? Really, and it, it went perfectly. I actually took some green beans and some mashed potato or cauliflower mash from my mom that they made. And then I was like, mm, the cauliflower mash is a little spicy for my mom. So I just ate her portion with the green beans and some ham tonight, <laughs> some leftover ham. It was so good. Oh, Danish Bakery? O-H? O Danish Bakery? I don't know. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah, I know that one. That Kringle was great. It was good. The and other it's, one is, it's just called Racine Kringle. Probably the biggest Kringle company in the state. Like, I'm yeah. probably going to go home and have a piece of Kringle. Oh, you still have some? I do. Right. I should have brought some. I have, a, like, four pieces in a Ziploc bag in the fridge. Thank God I didn't leave it out. The cat got to the crackers last night. <laughs> He's asshole. trying to get boobies again, but he got crackers boobies. instead. Boobies. You better watch out. He might get a size 16 to the ass. Ooh. That fucking cat, man. He's... I'm surprised Nick hasn't kicked him out yet. About to be a homeless cat. I know. I, try I asked if I could Aren't trade him for cats the bird. homeless cat? <laughs> They're... About to be. Yeah, they're about to be. I, like I said, I would have kissed him goodbye and said, you had a good run, my friend. You're nine and a half. Cause of death. Boobies. Boobies. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> if one could be so lucky. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I told my wife, my wife is very uh, well, well endowed, well boobied. And uh, we I told call her, that like, busty. She's a yeah. busty, busty woman. well boobied. I was like, if, if, if I'm going to go, I'd like to suffocate on boobs. That'd, that'd be the way out. Bust. A great bust. Oh my god, you so, guys are hilarious. Yeah, yeah, That's we what had some you good. Say. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's the She's bust got region. Bosoms a plenty. Like, what would you? <laughs> what do you say, pal? 
<laughs> quite the bosoms you got over there. Bosoms are plenty. That's the name of this episode. <laughs> but it should be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of good wine, a lot of good booze. Yeah, we picked had. up some great, like I said, yeah. some great stuff at Total Wine. I told you uh, Dick had asked if it fit the Flix algorithm. Yeah. I did get um, a Tripping Animals four pack. It was a little bit more expensive. I think it was nineteen ninety nine. It was a Hellas, Gross. but it had a German a Shepherd on the can. Oh, yeah. Hellas, nineteen ninety nine. But it had a German oh, Shepherd on the can. You're killing me. It did look like her dog. It did look like Rookie Tookie, yeah. and I had to get it. I'm like Nick. It looks like Ruka. It's probably like four percent flat. I, <laughs> I think it was close to that. It's like oh, California. Well, they had to walk it. Hand hand deliver it all the way from Florida. So. Yeah, Ugh, and Nick said Jesus. that I, he's like even the brewery name is perfect because our dogs that day is we're like we literally had to like speed decorate the house because Nick works nights so he's never fucking home. So Saturday he's like, all he's right, a hooker. I'm gonna get the he does he's whew, yeah. he's high price. Yeah, um, oh, he's like I'm gonna dick. get the bins down. We're gonna do this. I'm like running around the house. The the dogs just stand there. And they don't fucking the move. Way. And you like trip over them. And Nick's like, you know what, Nicole? Not only is the can perfect because it's a German Shepherd, it's called tripping animals. And that's all they do is try to trip us. They don't move. <laughs> he was he was feeling it. He was very angry. Yeah. Sounds about right. Big mad I, Nick. I, Big I, mad I can Nick, respect yeah. the hell out of that. Yeah. Big temper Nick. Big temper Nick. Yeah. Yeah. Brr, 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 brr. But that was that was a, it was a good time. It was good a job. great time. I look forward to it every year. So thank you guys for Do you guys do any you. gift exchange or is it just like a No, hangout? we kind of started doing this like in lieu of gift exchange. Um, I'm all for the in lieu of gift. Yeah. yeah. And what I used to just do is be like, hey, donate to your favorite charity in my honor. For Christmas yeah. and like don't you know what I mean like don't let's not do gifts but let's we're... not make it about me but <laughs> <laughs> no like don't 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 like if you need to do something like don't you know donate like in my name or something but don't, don't get me a gift or just like make a donation you know oh, your favorite okay got it got it yeah. instead of buying the gift I it's like donate. yeah it's yeah. like I said I got the humane it. society okay hey did you get it Jesus got I'm gonna it. slap I'm have you ever been slapped in the face with a Kringle you about to be. <laughs> Uh, Can I give you my Danish a Kringle? Pretty normal Wisconsin thing to get slapped with a Kringle. <laughs> a slap saying. and a tickle? Yeah. <laughs> a slap with a Kringle? Slap and a tickle. Uh, oh. But yeah. Um, and then Flex, Flex, I texted Flex before we did the show. We're going back and forth. I was like, by the way, uh, Coley's hanging out with us tonight. He goes, oh, that may- I knew she was. I was like, what do you mean you knew she was? I'm like, oh, she always hangs out with us on the Christmas episode. Every time. Aww. I did not realize that. Is this true? Like, are you always here for Christmas? I, I could have researched it and I didn't. I feel like I was last year for sure. Okay. And possibly the year before. Yeah. I feel like I was last year. All right. Well, definitely. Now it's a tradition. I, I appreciate it. I really love being here for the Christmas episode. I didn't even know it was a thing until he brought it to my attention. I was like, I, I guess you're probably right. It's festive. It's great. It's two yeah. of my favorite people. I mean, oh my come gosh. On. Yeah. The warm and fuzzy Stop. holiday season. <laughs> yeah. You serious, Clark? Come yeah. on. Exactly. Stop. Stop it. Stop so it. Kind. Stop. Flex, you get all your Christmas shopping done? Yeah, so that's been done uh, for like... Ever? A month and a half. Oh, good. I know you got kids, so like, when you got kids, it's a bigger deal. You gotta... So like, my wife, my wife's great. I, I like wife. to joke around about, <laughs> you know, how she gets on, you know, all my, my uh, habits, we'll say. Uh-huh. But but she's the best, man. She takes care of all that stuff, and I don't have to. And oh, that's nice. She even buys for like my family, and it's she's a wonderful woman, and I'm thankful for everything she does. It's great. So all the shopping's been done. I didn't have to do any of it. That's nice. Wow. Just jealous. Outstanding. That's love. That's I, really love. I'm I, like Nick. They're you're your parents. You do that. That's all you. <laughs> You're crazy like, ass mom. Mm-hmm. It's all you. He, 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 here's the only thing that that gets me though, right? You really grind your gears. Yeah, you know, I don't want to like get stuck in your craw. I just don't want to like, you know, get sued for like copyright or trademark. Oh, sure, or sure. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying. It's be hard one to copyright. But so yeah. you know, maybe it gears my grinds. I don't know. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so anyway, you, 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 Greg, you're married. Nicole, Last I checked. You, you're married. Mm-hmm. I, I will never understand why women will ask your opinion on something with already having a predetermined answer in their head. Mm-hmm. And if you say what they don't want you to say, you're in trouble. It becomes a thing. Is this like, hey, I think we should get your parents this. Like, what do you think? And then yes. you say, I don't like that. And she's yes. like, I, well, I just go, okay, well, that's the only idea I have. So now it's on you. Like that, yeah. I, that's my one contribution. And if you don't like it, then it's on you. But if you do like it, I will gladly pick that up. 
but it's just to the, the point where, like, why even bring it up? Because you know I'm going to buy this gift. And you're like, why the fuck did you get my dad this? And I'm like... But if you know I'm not going to agree with you, what is the point of this conversation? <laughs> oh, I guess I, maybe I don't... Are you just trying to start a fight with me? Okay, I was going to say, well, I mean, Probably. maybe I don't... I wouldn't ask if I knew 100% Nick wasn't going to agree. Yeah. So I guess, like... I will say, my wife is pretty good with... My wife. My wife. Is pretty good with like my coming wife. up with ideas because I, I hate Christmas gift, like buying gifts for people. Oh, it's not, the worst. Not because I don't want to spend the money or whatever, just because like we're all fucking adults. What am I going to do? Buy you a $20 gift card so you can get me a $20 gift card. And if it's not that, it's like, here's some booze. You get me some booze, which honestly, that can be fun because it's mm-hmm. like, here's something you've never tried yeah. before type of thing. But like, you know, certain people that either don't drink or aren't in, you know, they drink shit beer or shit, whatever. And so they're not into it. Just, like we're all adults. Can we stop buying presents for each other and just And that's why I do the donate like donate to your favorite yeah, charity. My favorite. Like I you know, the Humane Society, Ventura County Animal Services, anything yeah. like Yeah, my my wife, I won't say which family member, but we recently had to get something for a family member and we had like a day to figure it out. And we've been thinking about it all week. They're they're particularly hard to buy for. Particularly Particularly hard. And like last minute she goes <gasps> They might like X. And I was like Oh my god! And luckily, we could overnight it from Amazon. Perfect, and it got here just in time. And it was per- she's really good at like these last minute, like oh, we should do this. That's awesome. Because I, I'm like, I don't fucking know, man. We're adults. They're adults. Here's some booze, or let's just not. Let's just hang out. I'm, I've hit that age. Oh man, I'm so fucking old. I've hit that age where I'm like, I want experiences. Let's hang out. Let's share a meal. Let's drink together. Let's why are we buying stuff? We're all adults here. Nobody needs anything. The only thing I like about the buying stuff is again my, my wife is just really good with like coming up with these like ideas where it's like hey we should get this person this and i'm like wow like that's fucking crazy like why <laughs> why hasn't anybody thought of that before she's a great gift buyer yeah that's awesome I, and I'm- that's and then she like she gets me excited for christmas like with all the families because it's like i can't wait for this person to open this gift because it it's just so good. That's awesome. That's you know, I do it's like not, that. It's not just buying like, because yeah. one thing she hates is getting crap bought for her. Yes. Yeah. And That's, then buying crap for other people. Exactly. That's why I have such a hard time. Like I could go buy you a gift basket from Costco for 40 yeah. bucks, but how much chocolate are you going to eat this week? Yeah. Like I, I'm just more into like, if I see something throughout the year that just screams your name, I'll just buy it and I be like, when things scream my name. <gasps> Greg. <laughs> Uh-huh. And then I'm just uh-huh. like, oh Easy my god, I hope. saw this and I had to get it for you. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's like July or well, July's yeah. your birthday, I guess. But you know what I mean? Like, right. I just if I see something, yeah, I'd rather the year, just show up at your house on a random Tuesday. I like, got you this. You're gonna love. Yeah, this. I don't. I don't yeah. know. I don't need to wait for Christmas. I've forgotten about it by then. Damn, yeah. hurt my feelers. Not about you, about the, the oh, item. I see. Yeah. We do. But I mean, we buy Christmas gifts kind of early sometimes, like July, August, September. Do you guys buy for each other? You and the wife? No, no. So we, we've, we've stopped. Got, you guys don't, right? No, we do. Oh, you so do? We don't Nick, buy Nick stuff for each to. other. What's wrong with him? I don't know. But uh, my wife's tradition, like, growing up was that, obviously, like, your parents buy you gifts. Like, it's hard to get around, like, the concept of parents buy gifts. But Santa always brings... His favorite hose here. <laughs> ...one gift for everybody. So now we carry that tradition with the kids. So, like, when they get a, their Santa gift... It's unboxed. It's put together like oh, okay, like Santa like a, would, like a bike or a yeah, like, or yeah, something. exactly. Like he would deliver it, like the toy itself. So we do the same thing for us. Like we kind of pick out a Santa gift for ourselves. Mm-hmm. And, like we don't buy anything for each other, but it's kind of like, hey, this is what I'm getting, or hey, this is what I want, kind of thing. I so like it that. works. Yeah, it I works. Like that. Uh, the wife and I are, are like I said, into experiences. So it's like, hey, let's Easy save the money. There. This isn't a <laughs> butt stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut that out because she'll kill me. Uh, <laughs> she won't listen. <laughs> You're right. She'll still kill you. Though. Yeah, it's she'll not, still it's kill not me. a triple X podcast. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Flex, take off your pants. Um, <laughs> we will save the money and. Oh, you think I'm wearing pants? <laughs> That's funny. Silly me. <laughs> We will save the money and go somewhere like, oh, let's go to San Diego for the weekend or Santa Barbara or whatever. That's, yeah. that's our Christmas to ourselves kind of thing. So 
Like you Absolutely. don't have kids, so you can do that any weekend. Yeah, we do that too. And they <laughs> save money, and they're able to do that because yeah. they don't give gifts or have kids. What is it? Dink. Yeah. Double income, no kids. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Uh, or Dinkwad, double income, no kids with a dog. Yeah, that's yeah. us. We're Dinkwads. Dinkwads. I said we we should buy a ranch, like a huge ranch where we put like a couple houses. It'd just be Dinkwad Ranch. I would so sign up for that. And we could have a bunch of dogs, and, and I would like love my neighbors yeah. because I love you guys, and that right. would be awesome. Be a bunch yeah. of dogs. So Jesus you probably tells have you like to do a, too. Love that neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. You know the Jews don't believe in him, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what they don't like wine. <laughs> They do. They drink that manischewitz. Manischewitz. Yeah. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe they should start believing in Jesus. Oh, yeah. He makes better wine. Manischewitz is pretty terrible. <laughs> it's the uh, uh, the Jaeger of wines. Oh, it's like yeah. the grape juice of wines. Grape juice. Yeah. Uh, Jaeger's uh, good. Eh, when you're in college. Do you drink Jaeger? Just like drink it by itself? Yeah, like, like, a, like a dessert liqueur kind of thing. I mean, I don't know how dessert a Jaeger is. I do you drink it's it with your? I mean, I love black licorice. Dessert enough. I hate black licorice. I love black licorice, and that's probably the only acceptable thing I would drink Jaeger with as a sipper. Yeah. Uh, no, Jaeger's fine. It's a Wisconsin thing. Probably. God damn. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. <laughs> that's it. Everything's a Wisconsin thing. I he- headphones are coming off. That's it. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm walking away. I said good day. I said good day. All right. Well, there's a story I want. We don't need to read all the news stories here, but there is one I want to get to because it's hilarious. Uh, the rest will save for another show. White Claw is launching an electrolyte enhanced 0% alcohol seltzer. Isn't that just a fucking LaCroix? With electrolytes. With how electrolytes. Do you, how do you market that? I'm. It's White Claw. They'll find a way. But well, it's, they're jumping on the NA train. and But it's not even like all the NA beer is usually brewed with alcohol and then the alcohol is removed. This never had alcohol to begin with. It's a fucking LaCroix. It's a Gatorade. Mm. It's, <laughs> it's a sparkly Gatorade. Yeah. It's very interesting. Yes. Look, if they had a tall boy of it, guaranteed I'd try it. Yeah, but uh, you know it's going to be expensive. It's like a, it's a White Claw. So it's going to be yeah. like six bucks for a tall boy. Is it yeah. going to be at their LA tap room? <laughs> <laughs> the White Claw tap room. Whatever happened to that? I don't know. I feel the like COVID you would shut know. that down or something. I, Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully the public was like, please no. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like as hard as COVID tried to shut that down, white girls just wouldn't let it happen. Yeah, they wouldn't let it. It's you true. know what I've been into, though, is high noons. Oh, I don't love those. Oh, I I've like had, them I've had, I had, Well, I had one. I've had it one. Was, yeah. I've been into no, them. Not the worst, yeah. but also not my favorite. I've oh, had I much, they have much better things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the flavors they're going to drop initially are lime, peach, mango, and black cherry. I love peach. Anything, really. Oh, I'm sorry. Peach slash orange blossom. Peach orange blossom. That sounds like shit. Just let, yeah, leave it at peach. <laughs> orange peach blossom's great. all right. Yeah. So I had peach ginger seltzer. I'm not huge delicious. on hibiscus, but orange blossom. There you go. I can, I can fucks with that. Okay. All right. Well, go buy us some fucking zero no, I'm not going to do uh, that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Don't do it, Flex. Just because I like orange blossom doesn't mean I'm going to be stupid and buy this <laughs> sparkling Gatorade by White Claw. <laughs> it sounds so terrible. I like. I just feel like I have to try it. It sounds disgusting, and I'm like, I need to know how disgusting it actually is. I can't decide if it's going to sell extremely well it's or not tank. at all. It's going to tank. In Florida, specifically. I think people are going to buy it thinking... Like, they're on meth, and they're like, oh, it's well, White Claw. Yeah. You gotta think, like, the, the Gen Z crowd, right? They'll probably buy Ooh. regular... I know. It's super gross. Yeah. They'll probably buy regular White Claw and be like, hey, now we'll get this electrolyte-filled White Claw that we can drink after the White Claws. And they think it'll be like, uh... What's that fucking baby drink? Pedialyte. 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 Yeah. yeah, it'd be like the hangover cure. Maybe mm. that's what like they're going for. Like Maybe. drink honest that's how drink they should our market alcohol it. and then drink this to it save It should be yourself. like pick up this and this. Pick up you're gonna need two. Well packs now we just gave tonight. them a million dollar idea. Fuck. Should I cut that out? Yeah, cut it out. We should copyright cut it, it out. and then try it again. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's just if they market it as a hangover thing, I think people might be more likely to buy it. But it's like just go buy some LaCroix or whatever. Yeah. LaCroix. Uh all right, to be in the Christmassy spirit here, I which you not, sound like you're in. Yeah, ho, ho, ho. 
Uh, not, Santa's favorite ho. <laughs> that's ho, right. Ho, ho, ho. Not beer related whatsoever, but I found this list of the 30 worst Christmas songs of all time. Ooh. Worst. And, uh, yeah, from the AV Club. So They're I just thought great. I'd go through it super quick. Huh? No, Little Drummer Boy sucks. That should be the worst. Well, <gasps> just you wait. We'll start at number 30 here. Sonic Youth, Santa Doesn't Cop Out on Dope. <laughs> oh, so this is going to have like the artist as well. Yeah. 29, The Crossfires, Santa and the Sidewalk Surfer. 28, Max Headroom, Merry Christmas, Santa Claus, You're a Lovely Guy. 27, ACDC, Mistress for Christmas. That's got to be a good one. It's got It's a good name. It's ACDC. Yeah. 26, William Shatner, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, That's got to be horrible. <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Had a very shiny nose. I feel like we're listening Shatner, right? Why? Is, is that yeah. that's probably how it is? Yeah, it's got to be. What else could it be? I'd play it, but I want to be sued. <laughs> 25 Afro Man, deck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, it's got to be good, right? It's got to be great. Uh, 24 Root Boy Slim and the Sex Change Band, okay, Christmas at Kmart. Yeah, okay, that right. about, uh, maybe that should be one. Yeah, 23 The Trash Men, Dancing with Santa. <laughs> 22, New Kids on the Block, oh. Funky, Funky Christmas. Oh, hell yeah. That that, that one's a banger. Yeah. <laughs> 21, The Killers, Don't Shoot Me, Santa. Oh, okay. Ugh. 20, The Royal Guardsman, Snoopy's Christmas. Weird. 19, Spinal Tap, Christmas with the Devil. That's got to be good. Right? 18, Beck, Flex's favorite, The Little Drum Machine Boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 17 James Chance Christmas with Satan. <laughs> it's gotta be good too. <laughs> 16 Neil Diamond Cherry Cherry Christmas. That's weird. This is probably my favorite title on the entire list. 15 Bon Jovi Backdoor Santa. Nice. Oh, yeah. Then you're asking mom if he's real. Hey, oh. Well, Justin mom Bieber. Knows. She's just afraid to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Number 14 Justin Bieber Mistletoe. Number 13 Joe Pesci. If it doesn't snow on Christmas. Oh, I come can't. on. We got to find that. That one sounds glorious. And it's only from 98. It's not even that old. That's insane. Uh, number 12, Homer and Jethro, Santa Claus, the original hippie. Yeah, that sounds terrible. 11, the Go-Go's. I'm going to spend my Christmas with a Dalek. What's a Dalek? I have no idea. D-A-L-E-K. Hmm. Yeah. 10, Paul McCartney, Rudolph the Red, or excuse me, Rudolph the Christmas Reggae. That that I, can't be real. I've never even heard. I've, I listened to this one because I, I love the Beatles yeah. and Paul McCartney. Apparently, it's the B side to Wonderful Christmas Time, and he just needed to put a song on there. It's fucking horror. He played because every I instrument. I love the Wonderful Christmas yeah, Time. It's that's, the B yeah, side that's a to good that one. And the record company was like, "You need to make a song." And so he's like, "Well, fuck you. Here's a song. <sighs> it's bad." Uh, number nine, John Denver. Please, Daddy, don't get drunk on Christmas. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! I'm like reliving childhood trauma. How is right? that not number one? <laughs> <laughs> How is that not the best song on this list? Oh my god! Eight, Crazy Frog, Last Christmas. Seven, Cliff Richard, Twenty First Century Christmas. Six, Lady Gaga, Christmas Tree. Five, Pedatonics, That's Christmas to Me. Interesting. Four, Weird Al, The Night Santa Went Crazy. Dude, that song's so fucking good. It's not as good as Christmas at Ground Zero. Christmas though. at Ground Zero. I don't Zero. know, dude. Right. That one's so good. The button has been pushed. The night Santa went... Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Number three, The Weather Girls, Dear Santa, Bring Me a Man This Christmas. Oh, my God. <laughs> I listened to that one, too. It's, <laughs> it's like it's raining men, but Christmassy. <laughs> It's exactly what you think it's it is. It's raining men. Ho, ho, ho. Jingle, jingle. <laughs> oh, it's great. Number two, Elmo and Patsy. Oh, Grandma my. got ran over by a reindeer. Elmo. Come on. That's not even, that's uh, so good. <laughs> and then number one, worst song on this list. New song. That's the band name. New song. Christmas Shoes. Did you listen to that one? I, I listened to a little bit. It's it's a super religious Christian band. Oh. And it's about like some boy wanting to buy shoes for his mom for the holidays and the the guy was like giving him money or something for it and started crying and it is awful. Sounds like a country song. It kind does. Of yeah. Ish. It's just bad. Uh, so, anyways, thanks to the AV Club for that one. That was so. really entertaining. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I want to listen to that Bon Jovi song. Oh my god, what was it called? <laughs> backdoor Christmas. Backdoor, backdoor Christmas. Oh, backdoor, backdoor Christmas. Backdoor something. It was involved backdoors, and I want in. 
Uh, or what about uh, Daddy Don't Get Drunk on Christmas? That one, John Denver. Oh, yeah. my God. R.I.P., but that's so yeah. bad. All right, Please, Daddy, Daddy Don't Get like Drunk on Christmas. 40 years ago. Yeah. That John Denver's full of shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I think of. Backdoor Santa. That's what it was. Backdoor Santa. Oof. Anyways, before we uh, hit the best tradition of all Christmas traditions, let's answer some important questions. In a world where craft beer is king, a world where muscles Editing are bigger genius. than growlers, only one tongue can guide us. One man, one tongue, one tongue jobber. In this world, we must find out what is flex drinking. All right, so I've been really excited for the last couple weeks because uh, this beer has finally released again for the first time in about 10 years ish. Oh. Um, it, it, I've talked about it on a couple shows. It's Lakefront Brewery's Holiday Spice. Oh, you talked it, about that a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. Yeah. And it is a heavily spiced uh, barrel aged lager beer. It is brewed with cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, orange peel, and honey. And then it was uh, aged in a blend of brandy, bourbon, and rum barrels. Nice. Uh, wow. This bad boy weighs in at a 10.6%. Uh, on tap says it has 20 IBUs. Who really knows? <laughs> and it's made up. Um, there's only a 158 check ins on this 2023 variant, but it has a 392. All right. Um, the description here is a little bit different. Uh, brewed with cinnamon, orange zest, clove, and generous amounts of honey. Smooth, full, and spicy. The blend of brandy, bourbon, and rum barrel gives our winter warmer complex notes of oak, marzipan, toasted almonds, and molasses. Mm. So, on the nose. A lot of flavors going on. Heavy barrel character. Um, most notably the rum coming through. But a lot, lot of woody, woody barrel. Hmm. And uh, on the on the old tongue job, good Woody. I was gonna say Woody Pecker. That's what I called <laughs> oh. Woody Woodpecker when I was a kid. <laughs> Left out the second wood part. Yeah, good lord, important wood. Mm. It's got a nice color to it. It's like a red hue. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. It's like this ambery, coppery. Yeah. Looks kind of like cherry juice. Does it have legs so? or is it thin? It's down. hard to tell. I don't know. It's delicious. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. you definitely get. It's actually shocking. You do get the, the honey. Um, lots of cinnamon, lots of clove, um, not too much of that orange zest, but I'm sure that brings it all together. Um, no hint of the 10.6 ABV. It's completely hidden. There's no burn. There's no sense of alcohol in there at all. Oh, just uh, danger juice. No, it, it, <laughs> it, it, it's bizarre to me how something like this can be brewed, but. Um, it's gold. It used to be a tradition for me. Every Christmas morning, family comes over to open gifts. You crack one or two of these. It used to be a little bit higher in ABV. Like it was like 12.4 or something Oof. like that. Wow. Um, so they, they did dial it down a little bit, but I, I'm just happy to have it again. That's yeah, great. That's awesome. They brought yeah, it back. So cheers to Lakefront for re-releasing this bad boy. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers. Ho, ho, ho. Mm, daddy. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's it for this episode, except for one last thing. We got to finish it. Oh, a quick how this came around. If you're new to the show, every year I do this because I grew up in L.A., the L.A. area, where uh, the morning show Mark and Brian started in the late 80s, went all the way through the mid-2000, well, 2012, I think, is when they ended. And Mark of Mark and Brian found this cassette. I believe it was at a Salvation Army or something, and it was this old Disney record where Disney had recorded these like holiday things and it was like a lot of Foley and a little bit of music and anyways they they played it every year at Christmas on the radio show and then after they went off the air and I started podcasting and I was like I, I gotta carry on the tradition it's it's my favorite so uh, here is the dropping of the Yule Log drop it Christmas Eve is probably the most exciting night of the year for children everywhere at our house, the ritual is always the same. Mom hurries dinner out of the way so that the festivities can begin. First, I lay a fire in the fireplace. I pride myself on the way I lay a fire. <clears throat> to begin, I crinkle the newspaper fire. and put under the grate. Kind 
kind of oceany. Mm-hmm. Then crinkling, I put in the crinkling, crinkling newspaper, breaking the sticks into the proper lengths. Me and Nick. Kindling Google proper stick. length of kindling. <laughs> then I bring in the Yule log and put it in the grate. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest log we've ever had, Dad. <laughs> yeah, and the heaviest too. Oh, I can't. I've been listening to that for like thirty <laughs> years, and I still laugh. It's so good. It, his voice reminds me of Will Ferrell. Oh, really? In uh, Austin Powers, actually, when he's uh, Mufasa. Mufasa. Or, oh, Mu- yeah, Mustafa. Mustafa. Yeah. I'm. I'm very badly burned, but I'm okay. <laughs> My leg might be snap broken, but but I can still I can still drag myself. That's what his voice sounds like. Yeah. And that it just sounds like Mustafa. Who engineering this thing didn't go? Hey, you want to do another take? It sounds like you're dropping a deuce. Yeah, like, no one actually. Has- that's the biggest log we've ever seen. <laughs> right. And the heavies too. So good. <laughs> And that was Disney, like what? Well, Disney. WTF? Yeah. Well, think about how fucked up Disney's always been. Uh, you're like not the wrong. Yeah. Secret dicks and yeah. Yeah, I still have that. those cassettes or whatever VHSs. Yeah, the little yeah. penises on them. Yeah, I have it. I'll yeah. never get rid of yeah. it. Yeah, so much sex and penis and Disney. Why not add some shit? Literally some shit. Literally <laughs> the heaviest shit you've ever taken. Oh damn! So, good. so <laughs> anyways, uh, with that, we'll we'll sign out. We'll hope everyone has a great holiday. Whatever it is they're celebrating. Hopefully it's Festivus, though, because that's the only real one. Um, it's music. I'll say Merry Christmas to Vanessa. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas, Merry Vanessa. Christmas, Vanessa. Yeah. Holy smoke. Holy smoke. Thanks for letting me hang out with you guys. Thanks for hanging. That's uh, my yeah. favorite time thanks, of year thanks of episodes. Thanks for dropping the Yule Log with us. I appreciate that. It was an that. unknown tradition to Greg. Yeah. Well, I needed help. It was such a heavy log. Mm-hmm. Heaviest log we've ever had. Oh, you got size 16s. Well, and Nick and I are sticks and kindling, so it really really works out. Really sparking some flames yeah, we over We really here. are. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, find us all. Crap Your Republic, of course, Flex Me Beer underscores in between, and Ice Cold Beer underscores after each one. CraftBeerRepublic.com. <laughs> Number is 805-538-BEER. That's 2337. Hope everyone stays very well hydrated for the holidays. And on that note, good night, everybody. Ho, 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 ho!